Hello, it's Kate from InkStampShare.ink. I'm going to show you how to make this cute little card today. It's made using the Fruit Basket stamp set from the new Spring Summer Stamping Up catalogue. And I just love the fresh colours I've used. Lemon Lime Twist, Powder Pink are my favourite combination at the moment. And I just thought it makes a nice fresh birthday card. I fell in love with this stamp set um, and the reason is really due to the punches that come along with it. Mini punches, really cute little fruit mini punches. How sweet are they? So you get your strawberry, your pear, your pineapple, and then I think it's like an orange slice. And they cut out the images, absolutely fab. So I'm gonna crack on and show you how to make it. I've got all my bits ready here already. Right, so my card base is um, Lemon Lime Twist cardstock. It's an A4 piece of card. It's cut in half and scored in half again to make a standard card size. All the measurements of the base and the layers will be on my blog at inkstampshare.ink, so you don't need to write anything down. Just hop over there and have a look. Okay, it is just half a centimetre smaller all the way around, my pink layer. And then I have my stamping whisper white layer on the top. This piece is the inside of my card. This piece. Okay. Now, it is slightly different to my first one. I did the base in powder pink, then lemon lime twist and white. So I've just changed it around a little bit for fun. Um, I need a little piece of whisper white to stamp on. So I've got a scrap of whisper white to start with. And I'll just grab my ink pads. So I'm going to do my bowl, my fruit bowl, again in the powder pink colour. I love it. It's quite a pale colour. And I like to stamp my, of the um, the bowl, you get two stamps. You get the solid and then the detail. I like to stamp the solid bit first. It just makes it lining up afterwards a little bit easier for me. But do it how you prefer. I'll just give it a good stamp down. There we go. It's very difficult to see because it's a pale colour. But I think when I put the detail on it, you'll see it a little bit easier. Here we go. All right, I'll try not to get my head in the picture. I might need to move it down slightly. Now I'm going to cut this out. So it doesn't really matter if it's not completely exact. Which it isn't, actually. <laughs> but you know what? It doesn't really matter. I'm going to cut it out. Um, I'm going to cut it out by hand. It's a fairly simple shape. It doesn't take a minute to do that. There we go. A lot of shadow. It's a very dark day today. It looks permanently like it's going to rain and then it just doesn't. We've had quite a lot of rain lately though. It's very miserable and cold. So it's very nice to work with the spring summer catalogue and all those lovely colours. So there we are, there's my fruit bowl. Very quick and simple. So I've got that done. Then I'm going to stamp out my strawberries. Just shut that one up. Get the red one. So I've got real red for the strawberries. Perfect colour for that. And I've got them mounted up already on the blocks. That's not. Get it right. I've got the strawberry solid. I've got the outline. And then I do need, let me move some of these things to make a bit of space. I do need my lemon lime twist ink pad for the green at the top for the stalk here. So I worked out to fill my basket, my bowl of fruit. I had, I had about seven strawberries in mine. You can have as many as you like. And I again, I did the solid first because I found it was a little bit easier to stamp them. So one. Well, that makes a bit of a noise, sorry, two. Three, four, five, and there's all my lovely strawberries. And I'm going to go back with the real red again and do the outline. Now, it doesn't really matter, these punches are very forgiving. So if you don't stamp the outline exactly around the strawberry, it's not going to matter because you're going to cut it off anyway with a punch. Which is great because you don't have to worry if it's not exact. So just stamp over the top. 
because it leaves you a gap for your nice stalk. Finishes it off nicely. Just move that one out of the way <coughs> and bring the lemon lime twist green in, which I was going to use on the stalk and it coordinates with the card. <coughs> Excuse me. So if it's not exact, it doesn't matter because we're going to punch it out and it cuts off around the edge anyway. Nearly done. There we go. So fun, I love these little punches and these little strawberries. Right, let's move that one out of the way. And bring in the strawberry punch. Okay, I'm going to punch them out. Our punches at Stamping Up are fab. They all lock so you can store them flat, but you just have to open them up each time you use them. And then, if you can see, it doesn't actually cut out the whole image. It cuts it all out, but it leaves that edge behind, as you can see. So it makes it very forgiving if you go outside of the line with, with the stamping. Anything to make our life easier is brilliant, I would say. Have your punch upside down so you can see through it. Make sure it's lined up. And then all we're going to do is fill our bowl up. <laughs> it's a nice fun little birthday card and it really doesn't take very long to make. There we go. So I've cut out all the strawberries and the bowl. Then I'm going to take the Whisper White panel and I'm going to put my bowl on somewhere where I'd like it to go. Leaving a room for happy birthday to you. <clears throat> and you are the sweetest here. Let me just grab my dimensionals to stick my bowl because I don't think I've got those ready. Ooh. What have I done with my mini dimensionals? That's a nuisance. I took them out last night. Never mind. Let's just go with what we've got. Right. They'll turn up when I've finished. Why is that always the way? Right, I'll put two of the larger dimensionals on the bowl. I'm sure they're there. <laughs> Nobody else lose things like that just when you're trying to do something. Right, I'm going to put my bowl on. doesn't really matter quite where, as long as I leave a gap at the top knowing I've got strawberries here. And then I'm going to stick some of my strawberries down with glue so that they're flat and then I'm going to raise some of them up with dimensionals to make it look like they're piled on the top. So I'm going to use my Tombow glue to make them flat. You only need a tiny drop. What should we make a mess? Yep. <laughs> Why is it? On camera, we always make a mess. Right, okay. So I've got two in there. And then I'm going to... I have got mini... Di the mini dimensionals are amazing for tiny little elements like these strawberries. Just going to do what I don't normally do. Now we've got the mini ones and chop up a big one. How annoying. They'll turn up in a minute, as I say. Right, I'm going to pop this one on. So it looks like it's sitting proud. And the next one, I'll do the same until I fill the bowl. Very simple. It's a bit of fun. And then another one I might just stick behind. And then stick my last two up in the air as well. There we go. Ooh. See, the mini dimensions are so much better. Right. For tiny things, anyway. Just pop it in wherever you want. 
hope you're all enjoying your new spring summer catalogues from Stamping Up. There's so many lovely things in it. I've sent all mine out to, to all my customers um, that have shopped with me in the last few months and people who've attended my classes and events. So if anybody's out there who hasn't got one but would like one, who, who hasn't got a demonstrator already, please get in contact. I'd be happy to send you a complimentary copy. There you go, there's my bowl of strawberries. I think it looks really cute. On my original card, I did happy birthday to you in lemon lime twist and you are the sweetest. Now, when I made this the other night, I made it with a group of friends at my catalogue launch open house. And we had lots of fun and lots of us made these cards and we had a few different ones. And one of my team who was there, she did hers in red and it looked so nice. I'm gonna do that now. So that's Carol, she did it and it was beautiful. So what we need is happy birthday to you and a nice juicy red ink pad. Make sure it's nicely inked up. I'm just gonna stamp at the top in the middle and hopefully it'll come out all right. Oh yeah, I like that. It's quite sweet, isn't it, the, the red and then on the bottom, I'm going to put, you are the sweetest. I'll show you a quick tip in lining your stamps up straight. If you put them on the grid paper, which is very handy by the way, and line it up on the line, and then line your block up on the line, it's going to be straight. Top tipsy. <laughs> you are the sweetest. My block is too big, ignore that. Happy birthday to you, you are the sweetest. Love it, love it. Right, let's just move the red out of the way. Take my pink panel, and I'm gonna use my snail, I think, to stick it on. There we go. Ooh. I've got lots of birthdays. I've got quite a few in January, actually. So it's nice to get ahead with some birthday cards. One more thing is there's a little heart in this set, a dinky little heart, and I'm going to put it on there too. I don't know whether to do it in red or pink. I think I'll do it in pink. So I'll bring back the powder pink. There we are, I'm just gonna pop this up the top. And down here too. To make it a bit different. There we are. And then just stick it to the base with some more snail. I'm going to be bringing lots of uh, videos for from the new spring summer catalogue with lots of new products in it. Hope you like them. Try to give you lots of inspiration um, and lots of ways to use your stamps. So if you do like the video, please give me a thumbs up and even better, click that subscribe button for more inspiration and more videos coming up. So that's on there and I just need my inside. Right, and inside I'm gonna do happy birthday to you once more for my birthday card. And I'm gonna do it again in the red so it matches. Let's put the lid on my glue. Here we go. So just make sure I get it slightly straight if possible. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. I'll pop that in. I have glued myself to my grid paper, but hey ho. As long as I don't glue the card to it entirely. Done my insert, the same size as my front white visible white panel. Lovely, and just to finish it off, I'm gonna put a little strawberry in it, inside or two. Like 
like that and then grab the lemon lime twist back in. I'm not going to do the outline this time. I think I'm just going to see what it looks like like this. A little experimenting. Excellent. Perfect. Don't need it for the inside. That is so cute. I have an envelope too. Let's grab the envelope from its little packet. And I think I'll put a couple of strawberries on the back just to make it look a bit more fun because you don't really want a naked envelope. And then when the recipient gets it through the post, it's a bit more fun looking, isn't it? And it's like much nicer than getting a brown envelope with a bill in it. Might even cheer up the postman. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you like my card. The dimensions of the base and the layers are on my blog at inkstampshare.ink where you'll also find my online shop and details about celebration. So if you do like the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for stopping by.